there was no fun on the telly to be set. Hi, I'm John Simmy, I'm a stand-up comedian and producer. I also played Dipsy in nearly 400 episodes of Teletubbies. They called me, I was free, and I turned up, and I'm glad they were not very specific about what it was. Can you imagine being in a fursuit with no peripheral vision and looking through a mouth? You're going to look like, you know, you're a sort of Charlie Chaplin or, or the silent film guy. So I just went with the flow and became myself, and that's a bit worrying, isn't it? Yes, it's that one recurring nightmare which comes along most days even now that I nearly said no to a show that became an international phenomenon and went into over 100 countries. Every now and again I get that same cold sweat. You nearly said no to this. We get paid very copious amounts of Toby Tosted, Toby Toast and there are a few perks on the side. You haven't had Tommy Custard, where have you been? You haven't had Tommy, here yeah, you're working in central London, you think you're a cosmopolitan, you have not had Tommy Custard, come on. I'm not gonna tell you what goes into it, I'm just saying it goes wonderfully with champagne, okay? There are dealers and so on, so if you walk around in certain corners, you'll find some people who actually deal in Tommy Custard, and we're talking prime stuff, not the knockoff, prime. Only go and get yourself prime Tommy Custard when you get a chance, okay? You feel me? An old school Nokia 909, classic, so that showed taste. He's a telly Tommy. I get that all the time, it's particularly in shopping centres and what have you and so on. You can see the illusions just get shattered when the parents explain there's someone in the suit and you're trying to go. Do you know it never occurred to me to even do that and take it off the set? <laughs> so it's a Mary J. Blige or Dennis Brown in a thick fur suit. I missed an opportunity there, you know. Do you like fur? I don't, I don't know. They were innocent rather than sexual, so I don't know. I don't meet those sorts of people, sadly. <laughs> Very well hidden. We were too busy trying to survive in fur to notice them, so I plead the fifth on that one. I can look you in the eye and say that nothing funny happened in six years on set. There was no fun on the Teletubby set. The one I regret most of all is that the rumours of a spin-off feature film. There was going to be a feature film directed by James Cameron. And I was up for that, but James pulled out, so, you know, that's never going to happen, sadly. Leonardo DiCaprio and the Teletubbies. It could have been fun, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> a Teletubby fetish, is, 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 that, is that even a thing? <laughs> Tele Fortunately, if they exist, they've never introduced themselves to me or probably not any of the other cast members, so... Um, no. No. Anybody here want to talk about anybody they've been shagging at work? No.